Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is doing tremendous thing in this ministry and on this platform. I want to encourage you that after listening to today's audio broadcast, spare like three minutes to five minutes and give us a chat narrating the impact this ministry is having in your life. As you listen to the audio broadcast, as you listen to the prayers being offered to you, as you listen to the messages being preached, and as you listen to the interpretation of various dreams. Let's hear your testimony. As you share your testimonies, the Lord will multiply more in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I was still in my prayer moments when the Lord spoke to me about the lives of some of our listeners. Wow, who is this person? I saw that recently you had a reason to weep. Oh my God, and you really wept. Hear what the Lord said you should do. Read Psalm 30 verse 5. Yes, read that Psalm. And then the Lord said, He will turn your weeping to joy. For the next 15 minutes, just engage in singing and dancing and do that for seven consecutive days. The Lord will turn things around for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Oh, oh, I have the leading of the Lord to pray for these categories of men. Men experiencing impotency. Men experiencing quick ejaculation. Weak erection. Low sperm count. And uh, if your husband is not listening to this audio, you can stand in for him as a wife. Let us pray. Almighty God, you introduce yourself in Exodus 15, 26 as the great physician, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals us. Let your healing power come upon this man. Show your mercy. Heal them instantly. Perfect everything that has got to do with their reproductive organs in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. It is done. God, by his mercies, always answers my prayers. And I can give you a series of testimonies of men with those kind of challenges we prayed for and God answered. Yours will not be an exception in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Oh, oh hear this. There is a mother there. You have grown up children. They are of marriageable age. But you are concerned. None of them is even serious or in any serious uh, relationship that can lead to marriage. You are you have a lot of concern. Well, the Lord said you should do two things. Number one, take a night fast. What is a night fast? A night fast implies from 4 p.m. to 6 a.m. the following morning, 14 consecutive hours. Abstain from food and water. Wake up in the night to pray. And also back up this prayer with sacrificial seed faith offering. As the Lord God of Israel leaves, your grown-up children will marry one after the other in your lifetime. Indeed, you will have grandchildren through them. When you need the bank that is to do that, give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, anytime you have a dream, don't wait and keep compiling them until there are so many, then you send them as if you are sending a thesis or a history book. No, as soon as you wake up from the sleep, from the dream, just give me a chat, willingly, freely, I will interpret your dreams to you. This is Charles Adebola's Ministries. We are still on the teaching are titled Dreams About Money. Somebody said that you have enjoyed this topic so much. I wish it will not end. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank God for that. In addition, make sure you are rebroadcasting the audio to all your contacts and to the WhatsApp group you belong to. Dreams About Money. Mm. When you dream, and in that dream, you saw arm robbers or thieves 
or burglars trying to penetrate into your premises, into your house, or on your property. Ah, this one is not a good one. It is a dream that implies the enemy, the devil, wants to attack your finances. It is a dream that implies you might suffer some financial devourers. What are financial devourers? Falling into the hands of fraudsters, accidents, sicknesses, being duped, uh, mismanagement of money. Ah, what is the interpretation of this kind of dream? It means you should be more faithful in paying your tithe. What exactly is this tithe of a thing? Look at it in Malachi chapter 3, verse 8 to 10. He says, will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. Did you hear that? When you are not paying your tithe, God said, you too, you are an armed robber. Ah, don't get angry with me. I didn't say it. God said it. The Bible says it. That's Malachi chapter 3 from verse 8. He says, will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Tithe. Tithe is 10% of your income and of your profit. Just the 10% of it. Offering is supposed to be something you bring to worship God. And in most cases, your offering is supposed to be more substantial, supposed to be bigger even than your tithe. God said you have robbed him in not paying your tithe and offering. Then look at verse 9. Don't get angry with me. I'm only reading what the Bible says. He says, ye are cursed with a cost. Oh my God. For you have robbed me, even this whole nation. I didn't say that. God said it. God said when one does not pay his tithe and does not give his offering, that person is under a curse. May that not be our portion in Jesus' mighty name. Then you and I need to make genuine repentance, begin to pay your tithe and give substantial offering from now. And see the blessing that follows. Verse 10. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. And we have several people paying their tithe to this ministry. Several people in the currency being spent in the country where they reside. If you need our foreign account, uh, bank account, just give us a chart. It will be sent to you where you can pay the currency being spent in such country, maybe dollars, maybe pounds, maybe euro. He said, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. Prove me now we are here with, see the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour blessing upon you. Did you hear that? God said, when you pay your tithe, it's going to pour blessing. There will not be causes. Rather, it will be a blessing. And there shall not be room enough for you to receive it. I will come back to pray for you after this announcement. Please do resend to this audio broadcast to all your contacts and to the WhatsApp group you belong to. And if it has been someone resending it to you, register directly with us for free so that we can be sending it more prompt to you. When you want to register for free, just give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. It is deliberately that it's about twelve midnight every day that we send our fresh broadcast. If it has not been delivered to your devices by six AM, just give us a chat. It is our joy to have it resent to you. I deliberately want to acknowledge on behalf of Charles Adebola's ministries, those of you who pay your tithe to this ministry. May the Almighty God open the windows of heaven and pour blessing upon you. And if you have not been paying your tithe to this ministry, begin to do it now. You know that once we receive the alert payment of tithe, I will be the one to call you to pray for you, to make prophecies and make decrees over your life. Also want to acknowledge those of you backing up your prayers with sacrificial seed faith offering. In accordance to Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, the Lord will do more than your prayers. He will do more than your expectation in Jesus' mighty name. Oh my God, 
this group of people you are also those of you supporting us supporting this ministry with your voluntary financial support the almighty god will position his angels around you they will give you quick needed help in jesus mighty name when you need a bank details to do any of this give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero this other line is for you to reach me directly for prayers plus two three four eight zero six double three one nine three six four let me pray for you and i have the leading to pray for those who paid their tithe to this ministry may the almighty god open the windows of heaven and pour blessing upon you there wouldn't be room for you to receive it in jesus mighty name amen